Hello and welcome. This is Abby with Cookies and Crochet and just wanted to have a Vlogmas chat. First of all, I decided to do Vlogmas. Never done it before. I decided to try it. I thought it might be fun. Well, it's not as fun as I had thought. It is, but it it's a lot of work and I'm just going to be honest. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. And honestly, um, since I am a slow paced person, um, being too busy stresses me out. So, um, and I don't want to be stressed out, especially around the holidays and especially around my children. Um, it's not that I don't want to make the fun videos for you guys and share everything we do. Cause I do want to do that. I think it's fun. And, um, but I'm going to do it at my pace. That's what I'm going to have to do. So I will not be posting a Vlogmas video every day. I'll be posting them whenever I can do them. And um, so, sorry about the dust flying through the air. Um, <laughs> so with that disclaimer, um, this is Vlogmas, whatever number I choose to put on the title. I don't know. I was thinking 007, you know, because... That sounds cool and catchy, so Vlogmas 007. I'm just going to throw in random numbers, and so whatever Vlogmas it turns out to be, it'll be that whatever. So I thought it would be fun. <laughs> so it is a very bright and sunny day out today, <laughs> which is nice, because um, I heard it's supposedly supposed to be very chilly coming Tuesday. Um... I am having my coffee, which is in the only festive mug I could find in my cabinet. Um, and it's not really even Christmassy, it's just Christmas colors. A friend gave it to me um, several Christmases ago, but it holds the coffee and it tastes good. So I am also having a piece of my cranberry bread. It's very good. Um, I really enjoyed making that cranberry bread video, and I think I have figured out a way to, sorry, I think I have figured out how to film in my kitchen um, so uh, you know in a in a um, in a good way so hopefully I can do more uh, baking or cooking videos on this channel which is what I originally wanted to do when I first started this channel which is why the name is cookies and crochet um, because I love to cook and bake but I also love crochet. So I wanted to somehow incorporate both my passions. Um, so, but this was just the first time I decided to try to do anything about it. Um, and I think it turned out fairly well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, of course, it'll, you know, take some time to get it just right. Um, you know, it'll take some practice, but I'm getting there, so. What have I been up to? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, my son and I have been working at raking up all the leaves in our yard. We got several uh, leaf bags and um, we raked up trying to do the front yard because um, that's what people see. The backyard is, we have a fenced in backyard, so really only we see that. Um, so getting the front yard raked up was is is our main priority and it's a big job so uh, my son and i worked at it together um a couple no just one day this week and then we're gonna do more today so i'll throw in some fun pictures of that um what else have we been up to um, my son's basketball season is well underway. He's been having some games, only one home game so far, and my daughter was sick, uh, so I was not able to attend. Um, so anyway, that has kept us busy and kept him busy as well. Um, my daughters um are younger of course so they're in are going to be in a christmas play with our church which we're supposed to be practicing the songs and the readings and haven't been doing that feel bad about it but i can't just 
can't keep up with everything. I, I really am trying so hard, but it is, it just gets so busy around this time of year. I want to crochet gifts for friends and loved ones and haven't started those yet. I mean, this is life. This is just life. You know, I try not to put too much stress and pressure on myself. Um, because again, that doesn't help. That doesn't help things. <laughs> and then I feel guilty when I'm not working on it, you know? Um, so I just, anyway, I'm just trying to let things be. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> We still do not have our Christmas decorations up. Um, of course, the Christmas tree is over in the corner. I'm looking at it right now. It's not decorated. It's not in our living room. We don't have our lights up. We don't have our stockings up. We don't have, we haven't pulled out all the Christmas movies yet. We're going to some point, hopefully before Christmas Eve, <laughs> which um, kind of makes me sad because, you know, Christmas is my most favorite time of year. And I, I'm really afraid of it passing us by. Um, of course, I don't, I don't really think it will. But I, I'm kind of like sad because I see everyone else, you know, doing their. I know not everyone is, you know, you know, but it just feels like it when you're not, you know. Um, baking the cranberry bread was was fun, and um, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad I was doing. I, I, I like to do that. Um, and the pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. In fact, I'm going to make some more pumpkin pie because my daughter loved it so much. And, of course, I loved it, too. Actually, that's what I wanted to share about. I had um, picked up this Amish community cookbook. I actually found at Joann's when I was there. They were having their sale. Sorry, my eye is... Okay. So I found this at Joann's actually in their book section um, and all their books were marked down like 25% off and I found this cookbook. This is what I used um, for my pumpkin pie recipe this year. And they have some other fun recipes in here. Lots of actually lots of recipes that I want to try in here. Um, so I'm really excited to, um, there's an apple pie recipe in here that I wanted to try. Um, but I am going to make that pumpkin pie recipe again because, um, my mini me, which is my youngest, looks almost exactly like me. Um, and she has a lot of the same taste and mannerisms that I do. So anyway, I, everybody calls her my mini me. Um, so anyway, but she loved the pumpkin pie as my oldest boy didn't even try the pumpkin pie. My middle daughter, um, at our Thanksgiving meal, basically just ate the Cool Whip off the pumpkin pie and left the pie. I don't know what's wrong with her. My husband did like the pumpkin pie. He had, he had a few pieces. So anyway, but, um, I have two more pie shells. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to try. It has a recipe for homemade pie crust. And I told you I'd never tried it before making my own pie crust. So I really want to try that. It's only three ingredients, so I'm sure I can handle it. So we'll see. But anyway, so I have two other, um, sorry, two other pie shells in my freezer that, um, I'm having eye problems again, um, that I want to, uh, use up. And, uh, so I did buy some more pumpkin, um, just the regular pumpkin in a can. So I can make more pumpkin pies because I want to. Um, so, oh, the other thing, um, I was really excited about, what have I been up to? Um, cleaning out my kitchen cabinets. Um, I was going to take a picture and show you because I'm so proud of it, but since I didn't take a before picture, I just took an after picture. You guys would really probably wouldn't be impressed. You'd probably be like, oh, okay, that's a kitchen cabinet. So I decided I wouldn't even fool with that but I you know I did want to share because that's what I've been up to I I just you know besides taking the kids to school picking them up from school doing laundry I did take a picture of that but I don't even know if you'll care about that because that's not exciting that's just everyday stuff um but anyway it's good to have clean clothes right yeah it's good to have clean clothes so um, 
anyway, so I, I did. I, I sorted through, which is a huge thing because um, when you're washing dishes and pots and pans, you want to have a place to put them. And mine had kind of stacked up. Um, some friends had given us some things. And um, I had kept them even though I hadn't really been using them. Um, a waffle iron and a steamer and a bread maker and... Um, a, an electric skillet, um, several things. I have used them, but I haven't used them in a year or so. They were just taking up space. So I decided to go ahead and get rid of them. And then a baking pan. So anyway, getting rid of those things actually made room for the things like my grandmother's roasting pan, which is, you know, very dear to my heart. And I will be using that again for Christmas to cook a turkey or a, another ham or whatever we choose to have to eat for Christmas. Um, but I had also bought a, a large soup pan um, to, to do my natural yarn dyeing in. Um, but it's, you know, it's, it's going to be great for making either a stew or a chili or chicken noodle soup or something like that in it. Um, so anyway, I organized two cabinets in my kitchen got rid of stuff that I'm no longer using or I don't need or want and put in the stuff that I am using um, and it freed up some space on my stove which I'm so excited about so I'm very I don't know it just felt amazing I just I want my kitchen to be functional I want my kitchen to be um, you know organized I'm I like to be organized it doesn't always happen but I want to be organized um, and um, especially around the holidays when I, I really would like to um, so I wanted to make some uh, do some bake some Christmas cookies sugar Christmas cookies with my girls and decorate them so if we do that and when we do that I want to do it um, there is a recipe for it in here so but um, I will take pictures of that and uh, share that I thought that would be fun um, but yeah, there's just, you know, traditions that I want to do around the, the holidays with my kids, um, to make it more memorable, memorable and special for them. So, um, so that is part of my plan, but it's just actually doing it. Um, oh, and the other thing was I went to, um, I really wanted a tea kettle, uh, to heat up water in because I do in the winter months like to drink hot tea or hot apple cider in the evening um, just because I don't want to drink coffee um, but I do like warm drinks in the evening um, so instead of heating them up in the microwave it's much easier just to warm a big kettle of water and just use it that way and um, and my kids love hot chocolate um, in you know around the holidays so you know if I make a big batch of hot water then we can all have it at the same time instead of using the microwave 10 times so I uh, ran to my local antique shop and lo and behold I found a beautiful tea kettle um, and I was so pleased I love older things I I think I've told you that uh, many times I, I just am so in love with old things um, vintage things and um, so I will pop in a picture of the tea kettle I found, but the other thing I found shocked me to my core. I had been wanting a yarn swift for quite a long time, and um, but they're they're pretty expensive. But I have been watching online for some sales. Um, and, um, but a lot of the yarn swifts are either plastic or metal. Um, there are some wood ones, but they are, um, kind of expensive, like $120, um, and up, um, for a really good one, either a tabletop or the umbrella. But I would really been wanting one and I just kept waiting and kept waiting. But at the antique store, I found an antique yarn winder. serious. I will pop in a picture. I named her Roberta. Frida has a friend. Um, she needs some work. Uh, so her legs are a little bit loose. Um, it stands up upright. It's about three feet. Well, you'll see it in the picture, three feet tall or so. Um, and um, some of her pegs need to be glued. 
um, but she is absolutely gorgeous and I fell in love right away and um, it does need to be oiled because it squeaks when the wheel turns but I hung some uh, a skein of uh, yarn on it and oh my goodness I just am so excited to use it so that's another thing that I will be my dad is going to help me um, tighten the legs um, do some gluing and just kind of and, and oil it to get it up and running but oh my goodness and I will make a video of me using it for the first time because I think that's so I'm so glad I didn't buy it you know I'm so glad I waited I'm so glad I didn't buy ones that I'm like mm, I could use it but you know this one the older things have character they have a history they have a story even though I may not know it I did look them up online and I found some similar looking ones but I could not find one that was exactly like the one I bought but still it just amazing just amazing okay so that's the other thing Another thing I wanted to do, I had these towels, these holiday towels that I had bought actually at the Dollar Tree last year and I was going to give them as gifts, but I never got around to it. Isn't that terrible? So I'm going to give them as gifts this year, but I decided to keep one back for myself because I realized I don't have any Christmas towels. I don't. Not even one. So I decided to keep this one for myself so I can hang it in my kitchen so I can be just, you know, a quarter of the way festive. And I also found this um, sugar, sugar and cream um, um, cotton holiday, I think it's called, yeah, holiday stripes. I'm going to make a dishcloth and a coaster with this, I believe, to match um, the towel so and then as gifts I think I will give them also um, to my daughter's teacher and our secretary at the school because she's just a wonderful lady she does so much oh my goodness <sighs> she's a boss she is a boss she answering the phone and sending emails and tracking down kids and what they're supposed to be doing our secretary to our, our kids school is just amazing phenomenal she phenomenal she is organized she's kind she's polite she just does a great job so I'll, i always get her a gift at christmas um and then of course my my daughter's teacher is, is awesome too she just they they both are just amazing people um the last thing i wanted to share if i i hope i'm remembering I finished my crochet sock and it fits my foot I'm not going to show you my foot though but here's the sock I am so excited about it I don't have my sock blockers I ordered them they're not in yet it did ship but as I said I ordered it from Poland and so it may take a while to get here because the shipping was free so I have a I have um, I, I have the feeling that it was shipped, you know, by, by mail instead of by like, you know, a major shipping company, you know, so because that's why it was free. So it may take a while to get here. So I can't show you all fancy on a sock blocker like most podcasters and channels do, but this is my very first crochet sock. It fits my foot. And I'm very pleased with it. I did miss a couple stitches, I noticed, but that's okay. Um, let's see, it is a little long, I noticed, but I am going to, uh, when I try a the another sock pattern, it does have a shorter cuff um, or a shorter leg, so I'm fine with that. They are very soft, they're very warm, I'm so, completely ecstatic with it um, I have not washed it yet I need to wash it um, so but I'm so excited and I already want to make another pair already but I'll show you oh it's down here this is the start of the second one um, and it's really strange because I'm using the exact same yarn the exact same dye lot and everything and this one has this huge section and it's beautiful i don't mind it but it's a huge section of i don't know what color that is um like a blue like a blue gray 
And look, in this entire sock, there's no section that large. But in this one, there is. Isn't that funny? I, I think it's gorgeous, but it's just funny. I thought maybe I had a different dye lot. Mm -mm. They are exact same dye lots and exact same colors of, of, of yarn. But look at that. <laughs> oh, oh well. But anyway, so that's how much I've got done so far. On the second sock, I did tr try it on my foot. If you're thinking about making socks, I would recommend you try it on your foot frequently um, just to make sure it's fitting your ankle, your foot, your, your leg, because um, we're all different sizes. The other thing is your left foot is bigger than your right, just to let you know. Sorry, the sun is starting to creep up on my camera. <laughs> so I guess that means I need to hurry. Um, so anyway, your left foot, it is, it is a fact. It is a medical fact. Your left foot is larger than your right foot. So when you are making the left sock, make sure to try it on your left foot because that's important. Just, you know, FYI. Um, okay. That's much better. Thank you. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, um, if, I also kind of laid them up against this pair of knit socks that I had bought at a sale. These are handmade knit socks, but not by me, of course, because I don't knit and they have fuzz all over them. But anyway, I did, as I was working on my sock, I did kind of put it up, you know, just to see the shape and everything. So I would recommend that too, if this is your very first time making socks. But, um, and some, I had somebody ask where I got the pattern from. It's out of this book. Um... I found this book at um, Hobby Lobby um, and it the pattern I'll show you the pattern that I used um, but I'm sure they have them all over the internet if you don't want to go out and buy the book <clears throat> but this is the oops I'll cover that up <laughs> this is the pattern I used right there basic sock very very easy um, the next pattern I want to try, um, and I may do this pattern again too, but I'm the next pattern I want to try has a little bit cor shorter cuff. Um, so this is the one I wanted to try next. It's called toe, Textured Toe Up. So yeah, so excited to try that. So anyway, I, I think that's all I had to share today. I want to thank you all for watching my videos. I want to thank you for your comments and your likes and um, thank you for subscribing to my channel and um, I hope that you all are having a great day and a blessed holiday season. Um, and like I said, I will be sharing as I can. I'm not going to be posting Vlogmas every day because it's just not realistic for me and my family. And I want to enjoy this season. I don't want to be stressed. And I want to make sure that I'm spending, you know, the quality time that I want to with my children and my husband. <laughs> um, and life gets in the way. I want to make sure that I'm, you know, doing the things that I want to do and not feeling pressured. So, and I hope you do the same, you know. Some people can do it. Some people can't. So I'm just being honest with myself and my family and our lives. So anyway. But it is definitely not because I don't want to share it with you and it definitely not because, you know, I don't enjoy doing it. I do enjoy it, but um, just got to prioritize, you know, what's more important. So anyway, thank you for um, spending your time with me today. Thank you. Um, I do appreciate you taking your time and watching my videos, commenting, liking them. And um, I am just so blessed by the friends that I have made here on YouTube and in our Facebook group. Also, if you want to join our Facebook group, we have a Facebook group, Cookies and Crochet. Um, if you would like to join, please hop on over to Facebook and um, uh, answer the questions and uh, we'd love to have you. So get to know each other on a little bit more um, personal level. But anyway, it's just great. I've just really been blessed by all the friends I've been making and getting to know you guys better. So, and I hope you're getting to know me better. So anyway, okay, well, I'm going to go now. I hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next video. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.